my very first solid platinum chain. This is from Saints Gold and it's a paperclip chain. It's 2.5 millimeters and it sits at 20 inches. And the reason why I got 20 inches with length is just because I wanted it longer and I wanted to perhaps put a pendant on it in the future. So I just thought that it would be a pretty sweet look. Now, let me show you the clasp right here because it says like PL, you know, platinum or PT. Yeah, PT 9550. Yeah, 950. It's right underneath the clasp there. And if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, I think the highest you can go with platinum in terms of jewelry is 95% and the rest of it is filled with other alloys. I haven't seen anybody rocking like 100% platinum before, but the only platinum I really see people wear is wedding bands. I don't really see it on people's necks. Um, just be I see more silver, definitely a lot more silver than platinum, but I did just post a video on this, just like a quick YouTube short, just so you guys can see what it looks like on neck in the natural sunlight, but I'm still gonna put it on for you here in this video. Now, just real fast, I do like the look of this because I'm a sucker for this type of design. It, like the, it's kind of like the uh, the heavy link, the Hermes link, where it's like rectangular, but more, this, this is more elongated. It's just gorgeous. It's just really like, and honestly, heavier than I expected, all right? I thought that this was gonna be really light, maybe like three, four grams, <clears throat> but it weighs in at about 9.9 .9 grams. So that took me by surprise. And I remember just holding it in my hand, kind of throwing it around a little bit. I was like, okay, this has a little bit of weight to it, even though it's a thin chain, but here it looks, here it goes. Here it is, <laughs> that's what I meant to say. Here it is on neck, again, pretty long. And let me know if you have any ideas of what type of pendant would sit right with this. But if you're a guy, remember that this is definitely gonna hang higher up on your neck. It's probably gonna come up to, to here, depending on how skinny your neck is or how large your neck is. It varies from person to person, but yeah, just, to me, what I've noticed, if you're having a hard time like figuring out the difference between silver, platinum, and white gold, it's very easy to tell between silver and, and platinum just because silver tends to have this really pale yet shiny finish. Silver is like the most reflective metal. So if you are looking for shine factor, you will get it with silver and it will tarnish and that's fine. You can just kind of get it cleaned again you can go somewhere get it clean or you can clean it yourself if you want now if you're thinking between white gold and platinum this is what white gold looks like unfortunately this is the only piece of white gold jewelry that i have it's these diamond stud earrings but it's gorgeous so white gold 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 is typically plated with rhodium and platinum kind of looks more matted in comparison it's definitely not like a a shiny type of metal it's just, and I, the thing is, I don't even want to, like, the word dull is not, like, it's, I don't want to use that as a description, but that's what I'll say. It kind of feels a little bit more matted. Now, in that YouTube short that I did post, it does catch on to light really nicely, but it takes a more darker tone to it. And to be honest, I just, I really do love the look of it. And it's just kind of one of those things that when you get into platinum and you want to get platinum, you're not doing it to flex on anybody you know what i mean you're getting it because you know the quality of it and you yourself enjoy it and other people that are in that same bubble as you will be able to pick up on it and recognize it so it's just something you wear for yourself and that's honestly the way i feel about all jewelry i all the pieces that i have are things that i wear because i really like them but i do know that there are people out there that you know want to wear pieces that are going to impress other people around them but to me Platinum isn't really the type of metal that you wear to just try to impress and try to flex. You know, the people that know will be able to pick up on it, but still just, it's like, a, it's subtle. I, it's subtle. I like it. And it's my very first platinum piece. So I have a special place in my heart for it already. But let me know again your thoughts of what type of pendant or what type of style chain would look fire it like as a platinum, as a platinum chain, or even like, the types of jewelry like rings or bracelets let me know all of that like what you guys are rocking um and let me know if it pairs well with a white gold pendant because i like i know they don't look exactly the same but i kind of 
take that the same way as, you know, before I used to wear this 22 karat solid gold Franco, and then I put a 24 karat pendant on it. So it doesn't look exactly the same all throughout, but then the pendant itself is pretty eye-catching, you know? So that's kind of what I'm thinking would happen if I were to go the white gold pendant route with a platinum chain, or if I should just straight up stay platinum. But again, let me know your thoughts. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.